Welcome back to the Fan Channel Review Show. We took a little bit of a week or so off for Christmas, but we're back. The tweets have been absolutely madness in recent weeks. Uh, some of the video clips have been sent in are great. We're going to move away from Arsenal a bit this week as well because they have had a nice bounce back. Liverpool fans absolutely triggered. Triggered beyond belief right now. It's amazing. We're going to take a look at Man United versus Aston Villa and the fallout from that game. Make sure you're smashing that like button. Just hit the share button as well. Subscribe to the Football Terrace. Click on the link below for our Discord server. And let's do this. Pretending he doesn't know what he's looking at. I think. I think. What's the matter? What's wrong with him? Ah, this guy, Paul Pogba, you know. This guy, like he doesn't know who he is. We're talking about a guy who literally treats his hair like a colour and book. This man's talking about hair, bruv. <laughs> this man's talking about hair. Hair. Like actually talking about hair. Uh, what is he? He must be 6'2", six, 6'3". Six, yep. And he's fallen to the ground like a wet sausage. A wet sausage. I don't get it. It's actually embarrassing. And, you know, the fact that that penalty was given... Varchester United, we have been shafted. We have been truly shafted. And, you know, if you, if you want any more proof, substantial evidence of Paul Pogba and his shithousery, you know, here is a blatant video. It could be this side, it could be that side. Of him telling Luke Shaw to dive. <laughs> Luke Shaw is a certified dead ball. Right? Oh, do you know what? I've got to stop him. Do you know what's great about this? Firstly, firstly, the... I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna scroll back to it. This little bit here, where I love what the media have done with this 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 last few days, is they're showing Paul Pog the moment where Paul Pogba's left leg clips his right leg and he falls over. They're highlighting that moment. What they're not doing is focusing on one the fact that da David da Douglas Costa is pulling <laughs> uh, Paul Pogba's arm back, which leaves him off balance. But the fact that because he's pulling Paul Pogba into him. It was before Pogba's legs get themselves into a little bit of an entanglement. What happened is Douglas Luiz clipped Pogba's leg, which made them come together. The reason that Douglas Luiz's planted foot got in the way of Pogba's is because he pulled Pogba into him by failing him on his arm. It's great. I love seeing football fans triggered. And then he goes on to talk about what, what he's just mentioning there. Oh, that's, that's Maguire. About telling Luke Shaw to go down. Yes absolutely right telling Luke Shaw to go down because as we've seen in the Premier League this year you can be clipped you can be fouled you can be pulled if you don't go down you don't get the penalty doesn't mean you're not being impeded come on bro come on bro <laughs> what's Maguire done wrong and you know if it doesn't make you cringe I don't know what will because Binge. when Harry Maguire, he thought he was big man. He was showing off in front of the missus in Greece. He got on his scrap. And he got arrested by Greek. Guys, guys, scrap. Scrap. Authorities. Greek authorities, they have him in handcuffs. And do you know what he says to him? He says, do you know who I am? I'm the captain of Man United football team. And legend goes, you know, they burst out laughing. Because, you know. How angry and salty is this guy? He's literally quoting the sun. The sun. The sun. <laughs> the sun. At the end of the game, they were literally celebrating like they won the league, mate. They were so gassed. And do you know what? So that gassed. So, they're so gassed. They're so gassed. It's because they've taken down the mighty villa. You know? And oh, God. Themselves, and they came over with a win. But by the way, it wasn't a deserved win. So the fact they were celebrating <laughs> was still embarrassing. <laughs> It's shit house, oh, Reef. Oh, celebrating. It's because we went joint top, bruv. Joint top. United, even though they're not playing amazing and they do this whole freestyle football thing, they're. Uh, they're bruv, you've been watching Saeed too much. Freestyle football. <laughs> they're, they're right there. They are. They just are. And even though we love Oli. Look at Drifty's not... face. <laughs> Drifty hates it. Godless. May not still have individual players that can do individual, have individual brilliant moments. That's what May United are, they're a team of individual moments. Matty boy! Matty boy! 
all teams are moments of individual brilliance. That's why you guys have been talking about how individually brilliant so many of your players are. If it wasn't for Trent Alexander-Arnold's individual brilliant crosses, if it wasn't for Robertson's individual brilliant crosses, if it wasn't for Mo Salah's individual brilliant finishing, if it hadn't been for the last few years, Henderson's individual brilliant leadership, you wouldn't be who you are. Come on, the bitterness, the bitterness. And what that's done, what's that done so far? It's got them to win the whisker of being joint top of the league. We are top of the league. Literally, like thong sandals, just flip-flopping everywhere. Bro. What are you chatting about, Here's bro? the thing they need to remember. Oh, here we go. They've got Europa League football yep. in February, where they'll start doing the Thursday, Sunday, Thursday, Sunday thing. That's going to get in the way. And they're just a Bruno Fernandes or a... Um, a Rashford injury away from not being able to score goals themselves. I know they have the odd other player, but those are the two. Just Martial and Mason Greenwood and Cavani and Paul Pogba. Just the odd one or two. Players who keep bailing them out all the time. Fernandez and, and Rashford. Oh, I, do you know what I love about it? I love the saltiness. I love the fear. Do you know what's great about it? When you break it down to its nth degree. The main goal scorers and creators at Liverpool in the last three years have been Trent Robertson, Mane, Salah. Those four have been the pillars. But yet Man United have one, two, three players that score the majority of our goals or they're our main creators and they're bailing us out. You see the difference there? I love it. I love how rattled they are. Man United have had almost twice as many penalties as Liverpool since the start of last season, despite the Reds having over 400 more touches in the box. I love this. This is one of my most favourite things I've ever seen in my life, right? Yeah, United have had 19 penalties. Liverpool just 10 since the start of last season. But two things that stand out massively is you're, you're making it sound like there's a conspiracy. Like Man United because of, well, whether it's Fergie paying refs or app size and the, the backlash from the fan base is a bias. Leicester had 17. Just two less than Manchester United. You're right! Oh, bruv. People keep saying Man United have more dribblers in their team. On a per 90 basis, six Liverpool players are in the top 100 for dribble attempted. Man United have five. Mane, Salah, Jota, as a collective, average more dribbles per 90 than Marcus Rashford, Martial, and Mason Greenwood. Are they into areas of the box that cause people to make last ditch tackles? Maybe it's actually because teams pay us less respect than you, so they're a little more lackadaisical when making tackles. Trying to make this sound like conspiracy theory, Samuel, my friend. It ain't. The reason you haven't been awarded as many penalties as Man United is because you haven't been fouled in a box as many times. That's it, bruv. Interestingly, though, you look at penalties this season. Leicester have had 10, United 6, Liverpool 5. This season, they're only one behind Manchester United. The triggered overreaction from these Liverpool fans is absolutely spellbinding. Ah! VAR decisions that cost Liverpool points. I just love looking at these VAR decisions because they're all a nonsense. They're all a nonsense. They're bang on correct decisions. The two offsides were offside. Robertson kicked Danny Welbeck after missing the ball. Not even a doubt in my mind. If that was United, that's given. Lol. And it's not just Liverpool fans that are triggered right now, people. It ain't just Liverpool fans. I'm seeing so many Man United fans say that joint top. No, you're second. If the league had finished, you would not be joint champions, would you? You would be runners up. Really, DT? You serious, bro? You sure you don't want to delete that? You sure? <laughs> I love this game. And it isn't just Man United being joint top of the league that's triggering people. Bruno Fernandes is just mate. He, uh, mm, uh, I love you. <laughs>
Overrated. He'd be a flop. 47% of his goals are penalty. Bruno Fernandes has more goals from open play than any other midfielder in Europe for the past three years. And in terms of anybody doubting his impact at Manchester United, only Ruud van Nistelrooy, who scored 22 goals in his first 30 Premier League games in Man United's history, has outperformed Bruno Fernandes in terms of goals. He is on 19 goals. That is better than any other striker in the history of Manchester United. He's a midfielder. He plays in midfield. Midfield. Plays in midfield. They're going to keep doubting him. They're going to keep denying him. This isn't going to stop Bruno Fernandes. We love you. There's a reason why no club signed Bruno Fernandes. Don't be a dead horse. <laughs>